but we found six regions of the brain that were significantly different than structural network. What I'm taking this excerpt as is a quote from basically this brain imaging picture you see right here, which is a possible association or I should say outcome of drinking just a mere four cups of tea, either be an oolong tea, black tea, or green tea, four cups of tea a week, not saying a day, a week over a 25 year period of time, resulting in positive structural changes to the brain, which help tremendously with brain health as an individual ages per se. So what this is showing us is we're not looking necessarily at a test to see if someone could do a better memory task or math or whatever it is. We're actually looking at structural changes. Now, the researchers have some hypothesis as to why this may be occurring in regard to the phytochemicals which are in the, the teas which I mentioned prior. But let's get right into the research as follows. And it's again, it's amazing because we're actually looking at structural changes to proceed as follows. Upon analyzing the participants' cognitive performance and imaging results, the research team found that individuals who consumed either green tea, oolong tea, or black tea at least four times a week for about 25 years had brain regions that were interconnected in a more efficient way. The researcher stated it much like traffic engineering. To proceed into the public release as follows. Drinking tea improves brain health, studies suggest. A recent study led by researchers from the National University of Singapore revealed that regular tea drinkers have better organized brain regions. And this is associated with healthy cognitive function compared to non-tea drinkers. The research team made this discovery after examining the neuroimaging data of 36 older adults. What preceded this particular study was a longitudinal study done in 2017 done by the exact same researcher, which showed a tremendous, tremendous resistance to cognitive decline of those that drank tea. So he wanted to see if there was any structural changes. But this was the study which egged him on to this particular study here to actually look at those structural changes. Quote, could be why prior results of a longitudinal study led by the professor, which was published in 2017, showed that daily consumption of tea can reduce the risk of cognitive decline in older persons by 50%. Hence, one look deeper into the biology of the individuals who drank tea. I want to go right into the full study. I'm going to read the first part of this excerpt really fast and I'll slow down. So please bear with me. A large number of studies have suggested that the reduction of interregional connectivity is associated with brain aging by means of diverse data analytics such as seed-based connectivity, predefined regions to connections, and tractographic connectivity, which implies that a slower aging brain should retain more connections between regions and mild disruption in connectivity resulting in a higher efficiency for communications and information exchange between regions. Here, higher structural network efficiency was found in older adults who had habitual tea drinking relative to the non-tea drinking group. The tea drinking group had less topological distance between brain regions and more efficient interregional connectivity. This supports the hypothesis that the positive effects of habitual tea drinking are exerted on brain organization, again much like traffic engineering, by preventing interregional connections from becoming disrupted. In addition to the significant effect of tea drinking on a whole brain organization, a regional effect was also observed, a regional effect was also observed in the study, showing that tea intake resulted in higher nodal efficiency. The majority of these regions reside in the frontal cortex, which is in agreement with the previous finding that the frontal region is involved in age-related alterations of structural connectivity. The hypothesis in regards to the phytochemicals that may be helping here are the catechins or catechins, catechins, L-theanine and caffeine. Now, an interesting side note that the researcher interjected into the study is those three seem to work far better together. Henceforth, when combined in like a T form, had a profound, profound impact as opposed to being individually or taken separately. So they may have a very synergistic effect with each other. But to conclude, because more research has to be done, and maybe there's another phytochemical in there which has yet to be discovered. But to conclude what the researcher stated as follows, as cognitive performance and brain organization are intricately related, more research is needed to better understand how functions like memory emerge from brain circuits in the possible interventions to preserve cognition during the aging process. According to the professor, his team and his team plan to examine the effects of tea 
as well as the bioactive compounds in teeth that can have on cognitive decline. More like instead of looking for an association, they're going to try to basically see if they can find a, a causative reason or something that directly, directly impacts these changes to the brain region, whether it be those phytochemicals mentioned prior or again, something yet to be discovered or something in combination with those effects. But an amazing, amazing study in regard to looking at the structural changes, more than just an observational uh, you know, questionnaire per se. So the most the simplest thing to do in order to help preserve cognitive function, if this study's association pans out to be correct, is to do nothing more than drink just a few, four cups of oolong tea, green tea, base black tea, uh, just add it to your diet, four cups a week, incredible results. And that's only talking the results in regard to brain health. Obviously those teas also have been shown to have tremendously beneficial effects in other areas of the physiology itself. Again, we're off to our channel signing off. The DUI citation will be listed as well as links to the full study itself so you can look into these pictures and delve more into the methodology. Again, as always, thank you much for listening, very much for listening, and look forward to see you all once again next week. Please subscribe, otherwise there's no other way for me to get the information out when we have new videos for you, which is every seven days. Catch you guys in a bit. See you then, bye.